party people. Shinny D's in the house. Just uh, gonna go down the unit for a few hours. Mess about with cars and that. Just out into this minging weather. Typical Britain. Just, uh, nip down in the old orange thing. Been neglecting it for a while. So give it a bit of TLC sooner or later. It starts up though, isn't it? All right, here we go. Flipping eight rain, mate. It's minging. Go and see who's down there. I've got one of them Mickey Mouse mounts on my GoPro. Chinese jobby. Though, and see what's happening down here, then, isn't it? It's down at the unit, put some lights on, put some tunes on, put the old uh, security cameras on the go as well, see what's happening in the world. Bring him down a bit. Got me steel and me alley. eBay jobs, off cuts. It's uh, not bad actually. Some uh, good bits in there. One and a half, two mil, five mil. That was only like 50 odd quid. Bit of mild steel to me welding. Two and a half mil, three mil, one and a half mil. That was only like. I think it was like 30, 32 quid or something. So it's not bad. I'll do some um, little mounts of my roll cage in my old Rado. Get these curtains open. There's the Rado. I'll do a bit of hill climbing in it, sprinting. I've just converted it to EFI. Uh, it's driving quite well now, done a bit of road mapping, flies, it's, uh, Speedwino ECU which I've built there, it's uh, working quite well actually, it's uh, a bit cramped in here, projects everywhere, I think I'm going to uh, start the monster up today, the old Salika, I've not started it for a while, two years actually, probably about two years anyway. So I'll get her uncovered. See if I can balance you on here. Should do. Still there anyway. My baby. Salika GT4. So, uh, Bit of a monster. Let's have a look at the engine. Okay, I've not seen that for a while. 600 brake horse. TTE block. Some proper knobbly cams. Full race manifold. It's a Borg Warner 366. Yeah, it's not bad. Low compression engine. Wise co pistons. Yeah. Let's uh, get the keys and see if she'll fire up, I think. Way. Well, it's not gone mouldy. So that's good. Couple of gauges in there, isn't they? The old, uh, this is probably going to be well flat. Be very surprised if it isn't. It's, uh, it's got a bit of power. Ah, 
can't see this working. Pumps are working. beast down Got the old Bosch 044s there a couple of them one for each side of the fuel rail swill pot water mess there pump helmet just in case you know how it is well it did have a little tiny leak just uh, on one of the coolant hoses just gonna nip it up. Well, I've already nipped it up. It's down there. As far as it'll go, should be all right now. I changed the hoses sort of, a couple of years ago, and only did about a thousand miles in it after it. So 
can be expected, can't it? But yeah, other than that, it's all right. Might do a treat to a bit more road mapping. Got a few things up your sleeve, what I want to do to it. It's uh, been neglected. Not been on the road for two years, so might get it taxed and insured and give it a few blasts. I've just been uh, busy with this thing, you see, doing a bit of hill climbing and sprinting, so yeah, all my time's been in that. So, and then I've got to do that flipping thing. Another project, smart to escort. A daft flipping bubble arches on it, African Bambata, South African import. Check the bonnet out. <laughs> Bad that in it, terrible. So these will be getting cut off. I think I might go just standard. Got some wings and that new front panel inside. So I was going to go forest arches, but I don't think I'm going to bother. Got some old school alley cats on it, which we got quite cheap. So might go ST170 in it. I'm not sure yet. I've got one. Got a Focus for a donor vehicle. But it's had like a, a V8 in it, so all the tunnel's been cut right out. Not a very good job, so chop all that out and put it back to normal. Gonna get a bit of time. Don't know what he was thinking, putting them bubble arches on a Mark II. Wrong that, innit? <laughs> Not done anything on this for a couple of years. It's uh, another. GT4 ST205, fully caged, even got hydro, pedal box, fuel cell, so PC coilovers and ignore the wheels, they're just on temporary them. Uh, can't really see much actually in the light, got Scooby discs on it. An RS3 calipers on it. I'll just get get my light. What I've got to do? Hill climbing in this one. So still have it road legal though. And there, that's a 3VZ FE out of a Toyota Camry, three litre V6, which are fully forged. Um, slow compression I think I'm just going to have one big turbo on this so it's going to go twins but I'm going to go single turbo I'm, I'm going to make a couple of exhaust manifolds and, and sit the turbo out here so the centre of gravity is a bit just below just behind the front axles uh, and then it's going to exhaust to the interior I'm going to box it all in so it'll come through the bulkhead there and come down here, down the side of the seat, right down the side of the passenger seat. I'll have to move the uh, battery box and I'm going to have the silencer behind the driver's seat, all boxed in, soundproofing, heat proof and that. Let's uh, keep up with the regs, so yeah, should be a, an animal this one. Uh, just going for a bit of a talk monster, so I've left the standard cam in it. Uh, st standard cams. Uh, just done some head work on it. Ported it quite a bit. Um, but like I say, all the bottom end's forged. It's going to make a bit, a bit of a funky sump on it. So when I get round to it, yeah, projects everywhere. Get there one day. That, that manifold, uh, I think what I'm going to do, I was going to make another one, but this is a bit funky to make this bit, so I might use this. And I think I'm going to cut this side off because the throttle body usually goes on this side. And I might incorporate it on this side, so I'll do something, I'll probably whip that off and make myself a bit of a tapered section going on all these six runners and then just angle it down here and have the throttle body here. And then I can do the intercool piping going down through the bottom of the inner wing straight to the intercooler and then the other side's dead easy, same again coming out through the uh, inner wing and straight to the turbo, so short routing 
Flipping out, seeing all this space here, you could put like 10 dead bodies in that, couldn't you? So in the Renault, all I do is just uh, do a bit of road mapping, like tune the studio on the laptop, because um, uh, speed we know, you know, it's the same as phone call. Always my view, don't they? Whee! Geezer, mate. All right, what's happening? No, I'm in Munich. Yeah, yeah, come down and get one. Yeah, they do sell them. <laughs> no worries, come come down, see you in a minute. Try, try, try. Our kid coming down. Yeah, so like I say, it's uh, Speed Reno, so it's Tuning Studio tuning. Got like a Plex knock monitor, and I've got that going on to an input on the Speedwino, so I can log it on the laptop as well. So it's a bit awkward road mapping, but you have to improvise somehow, don't you? So yeah, so there she is. I think I'm gonna have a bit of a tidy up in here, get rid of all my shit, and have a game of pool in a bit. Back in action again. Bro's just come down for his screwdriver. Hey, scabbing me tools again, isn't it? <laughs> Brought the little one down with him. Say hi, yeah. Got that screwdriver now, mate. Got his little brush. Gonna sweep my unit up in a bit for me, aren't you, mate? <laughs> He's not happy. <laughs> <laughs> Them, he, he will be, that, won't he? This is this is Ginger's little project, little Clio for the uh, Renault 5 GT turbo engine in it. Green push bike. Green push bike. <laughs> Don't know where he is. Could be robbing the place, couldn't we? <laughs> Apparently, we're going to do a bit on his carb, rejetting his carb today in a bit. A few little tweaks and that. Let's go and see if we can find him. There's his dog. Hat <laughs> 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 <Not> Tilly. <laughs> hey! That yeah. Hat mate. Say hello. I've checked. Woo! Number <laughs> one jet and that. Here's Ginge. Hey oh. Hey! Hey mate. He's got a moustache. You got a moustache, haven't you? Whee! Did it, did it, What is it? <laughs> You'd like to eat that, wouldn't you? Hey. What is it? Why you brush its nose? This phone won't stop, will it? Just follow me. So if you did on FaceTime. <laughs> <laughs> she like this. Hi. Hey up. <laughs> <laughs> Say hello to the YouTube channel. <laughs> Back in Ginger's unit again and he's here this time. I'm here, not hiding. <laughs> There's his dog. Tilly. What are you making, Ginge? I'm making a coffee, but at this uh, moment in time, I'm just messing with my uh, carb. I've got two carbs here. I've got one standard uh, Renault 5 GT turbo, a turbo carb. And then uh, I've got a Group A carb, actually built, uh, made by Shane here. By me, um, back in the day. But I'm just basically averting a few things uh, just to get power in different areas. Uh, so we're just messing basically. We're going to drill out a uh, second stage a bit bigger yeah. um, and go from there and see what the crack Everyone is. Everyone just used to put a big massive main jet in and mess with the air correction. And that's wrong that, you don't do that. So all you do is keep them pretty standard and then drill out the second stage. So we'll do a little video on that in a bit, innit? Kettles boiled ginge. Oh yeah, it's pretty dark. Da, 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 da. There's his little beast again. I've been on the road for a while, has it? Just started my monster up before. Did you? Yeah. It's uh, fired up straight away, mate. That's what you want, isn't it? Yeah. Hopefully this will. Yeah, this will do. Yeah, we're going red again. All the hoses have just lifted down for that under there. It's got a right hole in the silicon there. Can you uh, see that? Yeah, where well, it's been rubbing. Yeah. Dangerous, Have good job. That. But I'm just gonna get rid of it. I want I'm going fully red, so all, yeah. all new silicon hoses uh, to match my new uh, 
powder coated subframe down there. Yeah. Looking all suave. Oh yeah, there she is there. It's a bit dark in here, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Minging typical British weather again. Yeah. See what the dog's doing. A mad half hour. <laughs> Playing with the silicon hose. Yeah, so basically, which is which now, which is the one this that is, I did? This is, this is the Group A Venturi, this right, one. Right, so all I've done is, you see that piece which comes out of the Venturi there, inside, actually took that out and I drilled it with a massive drill bit. I think, I can't remember how many mil, I think it's 28 mil if I remember rightly. I might be wrong, I don't know. 26, 28 mil. So standard, uh, you get more torque with the standard one. But if you've got a big, if you're running massive boost and a big cam in it and that, then the group A is better, you know what I mean? But obviously you've got to have it jetted up right. So I think you'll be alright with a standard, mate. You're not you're not going to be running massive boost, you know what I mean? Yeah, you can see the difference now in, in the Venturi, yeah. Yeah. Lot, lot of a difference. Let's just show the viewers where all the jets are. What? So that, there you've got your air correction jet there where my thumb is. Um, Usually you can put a smaller one in, make it a little bit richer, but I just solder them up, me and drill them out you know, with the little drill bits. And then you've got the main one, which you get access through here with a little blank. Just get a screwdriver in there, but it, it lives in the bottom there. Don't mess with that one. Don't do nothing with that one. That's what people used to put a massive one in. It just used to overfuel right through all the rev range. Don't even bother with that. But uh, oh, you got this in bits, haven't you? That's all right, isn't it? So I ain't even got my gigs on, you know. So you can see stage two. There. Yeah, the second stage is the fixed one. I don't know whether it'll focus on that, where my thumbnail is. That's the one which you drill out. And I've done mine, I think, what, did it, what have I done mine to? 1.4? 1.4, yeah. 1.4, which is very big, but I run like nearly 30 PSI. Well, I used to before I did my AFI conversion. Um, so usually about 1.25, 1.3 is good for about 20 PSI. And then all I do is mess with the air correction. This one here, just make it a little bit smaller to make it a bit richer. You know what I mean? So, and then get a wide band on it, take it for a blast, see how she is. So, I like messing with her carbs, innit? I like it, mate. Yeah, we'll have to get it built back up and see what she sounds like. Yeah. Good stuff, mate. These are the little drill bits that we use. Cheap and cheerful, but do the job. Nice and easy. Tilly, silly dog. Give me paw. Go for girl. Here you go. What about me? <laughs> Give me paw. Good boy. Here you go. Um, 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 um. Quite nice, then, mate. Are they? Mm. Dog biscuits. Oh, not my. Can't beat a good dog biscuit, mate. I like gingers, gingerbread. Better than gingers, then. Hmm. Meaty, aren't they, mate? Hey, mm. that's why I cleared this this morning. That dog biscuit was well dry, I'm telling you. There's a few few uh, separate projects going on there uh, with this bench at the moment to be honest with you. Mate, you want to see my place, it's right I've, mess. I've got me rocker shaft in bits, that's for 300 TDI engine, uh, Land Rover 300 TDI. Yeah, we mess with Landys as well you see, you know what I mean, like to do a bit of green laning and off-roading as well, well. I've got a full uh, engine block there, ad core reconditioned, new pistons, uh, all new bearings. Ready for action mate, ready for the head. Yeah, that's it. And obviously the head's on the uh, table there, but I've not, uh, I've not done the work to the head yet. Because I want to port that out. Um, Bit of mild porting and, and that. And then I've, I have been pondering on the idea of doing um, um, a thingy charged engine. Um, compound. Compound charged compound. engine. Compound. Uh, just because Land Rovers, they have got that lag. So I was thinking I could put a smaller turbo on yeah. it and just a slightly bigger turbo. Yeah, um, sounds good. Yeah. You know. We all like a bit of compound charging it's just for that uncontrollable it? boost. A bit of tinkering, <laughs> messing about yeah. with things. Get some stupid boost compounding, can't you? Yeah. So only wasted energy. We like to save our wasted energy, don't we? And that's use it. it. That's it. Well, that's the difference though between a uh, supercharger and obviously some engines are going to vary with the performance and how they're going to run the supercharger. 
but with a turbo regardless that that air that's coming out of the engine is is, is it's waste. wasted it's waste, we don't yeah. like waste no yeah. we don't we so don't like uh, waste. and obviously we want to uh, uh, get rid of as much lag as possible as well when you're running turbo. That's it. Be careful with this because I want to keep my seals intact because I don't want to pay 40 quid yeah, for, a new, for a new it. seal kit. Yeah. Um, take this bottom off. Getting rare these carbs now, party people. Gotta be careful, obviously. This spring's nice and tight on on air, so I'm not too worried. But be careful if you're going to strip them down with the with the spring. I mean, we're not experts, but. We like to mess, don't we? Yeah, and we've had these apart probably more times than we'd like. Right, just going over to my unit again now. You're staying here, aren't you, Tilly? Back into this minging weather. Good. Make myself a brew now, I think. Kettle mode. Sweet mate, don't bother with milk mate, just use that stuff. Coffee mate, never goes off you see. Get my favourite cup, build base, buzzing. Ginger's back in the house, yeah, yeah. back in my unit now, got the uh, spectacles on the go. The good old Volts, magnified ones, proper good and that. Just go and pour me brew. So, get a drill bit for this, they're at a bit of an angle. See it there? Probably see better through here actually. Let's turn this on. I don't know whether that's <laughs> going to focus on that, but if you see it, it's at a bit of a funny angle. And it's sort of recessed, so the bit you got to drill out is deeper inside it. So we're going to get some drill bits and sort it out. Is that 1.3? That's 1.3. Defo. Yeah, yeah. See if this chuck holds it. I think, yeah, it, I think it does this one. No, it doesn't. I have to do the, uh, the masking tape trick. Either that or get the Dremel out. I think this will be alright. The old camera up. Is that outside? Is that John? Yeah. Phone again. It's a G. Right, Mum. Right, he's outside now. I'll sort him out. All right, see you in a bit. Try out, try out. Yeah, it's all the go, isn't it? You're coming here. It's recording a video. Play for the Say hello to the YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> Camera shy. <laughs> right then, try again. Where was we? Room is drilling. Room is drilling, man. Just uh, blow that bit out for you there. Yeah, it's nearly through there anyway. Well, that a bit for his mate, that magnifying glass. That's it. There we go. There she is. Jobs are good in. Jobs are good in. <laughs> Blow all the crap out. I think most of it actually come out, you know. So what I'll do is I'll get a bit of the old 
Brake cleaner through it. Do it this way first. Nice that. Yummy, yummy. Eating some funky stuff today. And that's it, that's the second stage drilled out to 1.3 mil. And it looks quite nice actually in there. So then that's it. Ready for the rebuild now, isn't it, Ginge? Rebuild time. Woo! Yeah, yeah. So as you can see, well, I don't know if you can see actually. Bit awkward, isn't it, through that magnifying glass? Well, that's drilled out where it steps down 1.3 mil. That should be right, that. And, and loads of boost, mate. Yeah, yeah. We like boost. We like boost. Quick game of pool has got to be done. So, I don't know. Pop you up there. I think that'll get it there, won't it? What do you reckon? Should do, shouldn't it? Can't beat a good game of pool. Well, since you set up in it. Yeah. Weapon of choice. Sounds like a lot, right? So you got to have a break as well, you see. you got to have enough time to play. Back in Ginger's little unit now with the carb. Put it back together. Have you put the air correction, Jerry? Oh, yeah, I never forgot that. Getting all excited Getting and giddy. Excited. Bit premature, wasn't it? Yeah, it's not about that, mate. No, not about the premature. Du -du 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 -du. Yeah. Are we having a, a fire up session or? Uh, maybe, maybe we'll have to see if all the uh, components are right. Yeah. I mean, may if I've, if I've got a charged battery, we can sort that out, mate. Can't we, Tilly? We can sort that, can't we? He's a good girl. What's your daddy doing, eh? Missing my cars. She's nearly back together. Going back on. Get the L plenum back on. Here's <laughs> <laughs> my mate who just rocked up in his little mini, <laughs> laughing John. Say hello, mate. Alright, mate. Hey! <laughs> How's she running now, alright? Yeah, just running now, mate. I've just got to take her to Dirt Tech next to get it to. Get it mapped up. up. So, yeah, yeah. They, they'll do it on the sports pump as well. Mate. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, slamming her as well, mate. Yeah, man. Yeah, it's really nice, mate. Yeah. Good stuff, yeah. mate. Yeah, so. I have to have a little race down the bypass, yeah, mate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mate. Yeah, can't it's wait. The fuel out of it. It's bloody mini. It's been mine. She said, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's here now. His mini's everywhere. Look at this. Hey, shite this weather, isn't it? It's awful, mate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll put you on the video anyway, oh, mate. Oh, hey, see you in a bit. <laughs> See you later. Hey! <laughs> yeah, yeah, mini posse. Some minis in the house there. Hey! Should have 
Yeah, that's going to be wild on this light, though. Back to the GC Turbo. Carbs back on. So, uh, it's that wind, it's minging, isn't it? Wind and rain, mate. Just uh, prime of the uh, fuel pump. Connect the battery up first, that helps, doesn't it? There she goes. Even Tilly's excited. I don't know if it'll do it because it's got the uh, obviously there's no fuel in it so no just do ignition for a minute no, leave no, it for a few it seconds well oh, i'll see if i can see it in this in this filter is it on now yeah is it i can't see nothing yet i can see a bit at the bottom yeah. Yeah. alarm works Yo. Might have to get my jumper on it. Yeah. Let's go and get the jumper. El Mactil's jumper. Go. Yeah, mate. Get her hooked up. It's only got a little battery in the back of this. <laughs> no, we're getting taken to piss, mate. Well, Land Rover battery there. Whopper. Big old whopping thing, mate. Uh, which one goes where? <laughs> I always put my live on me and then earth after. Put one on each year. Stay there. Right, take two. My arm's working again. Yeah, yeah. Is the ignition on? Yeah. Yeah. Probably do a, a better bit of pipe on there. There's a little, little rip in it. It's not causing the problem though. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hey! She's there, mate. Yeah, man. Woo! There we go. She's running anyway, mate. The beast's alive again, mate. Just sticking a bit, isn't it? Simple fix, mate. She'll be ready for blasting down that flipping bypass soon, won't she? Oh, yes. Obviously, I saw me uh, little sticky uh, throttle position uh, out. Yeah, little niggles. Nothing we can't fix, mate. Happy days. Woo! Get the old booster off. You got two batteries in the back of there. Three. Three. Yeah. Three batteries, eh? <laughs> Keep that rear end on the floor, innit? Okay. <laughs> She 
He's warming up, mate. Catch you on the next one. See you in a bit.